Hello there, this is the Fat Cockney and I am doing my very first travel vlog from Ukraine. I'm in a city called Chernigiv, I believe it's pronounced, which is about 60 miles northeast of Kiev. Uh, it's a nice city, very cold, people are very friendly, but most people are friendly in Ukraine. They just don't seem it uh, until they get to know you, but they're very easy to get to know. Uh, we're halfway through November. The rules for me coming out here to uh, to Ukraine was uh, I had to be double jabbed and uh, have a COVID test uh, three days uh, maximum before before travel. Um, I got that at Gatwick Airport, uh, which you know a London airport. Covid test was a quick brain scrape with cotton bud up my nose, both nostrils. Um, quite painless, really. Uh, jump on a plane, and here we are. You do need travel insurance to to, to visit Ukraine. A Ukrainian travel insurance um, is is a is a must, really, for them to let you in the country. It's probably not any good, so you you, you need your own one as well. So, you know, if you don't have it, you don't get in. Uh, food is great, but with most restaurants and pubs are open. You just need to show that, that you're vaccinated. I just use my little passport on my phone with the NHS app. Um, they never really check it. They just have a quick look and pretend they know what they're looking at. Um, what else can we say on that? The restaurants, again, it's all QR code. Uh, which I, I do prefer a picture, so I can point and uh, say, oh yeah, that do, I'll, I'll take a chance at that one, because I don't really read Russian, not well enough anyway, uh, to, to, to suss out all the things on the menu. Uh, so, but but, but they, they're good here, they do try to help you out. My apartment was a bargain, 20 quid, or 20 pound to you Yanks who don't know what a quid is. Uh, which is probably about twenty-seven dollars or seven hundred grivna, which, which it cost me. Lovely apartment. I may, if, if in the comments people want to know where it, you know, who the person is that rents this, this out, I'll I'll send it to you. Is she does have quite a few apartments that she rents out, and for twenty pound, it's two stuff. Well, it's a, it's a house, not an apartment. It's two stories. It's, it's small, but it's, it's, it's all you want, really. Um, it has all the amenities, which I'll show you in a moment. Right, this is inside of my apartment. So we've got the upstairs there, fridge, freezer, dining table. There's a sofa stroke sofa bed over there. The heating, television, the grand bathroom tour. Oops, let's find that light. So, shower, sink, carsey. We even have a washing machine. But to me, that's all voodoo and witchcraft. Hi again. See, the kitchen's well, well stocked. All the usual things. You know, knives, forks, pots, pans, plates. Comes with coffee. Um, the older. What have we got in here? So yeah, it all comes tea, coffee, and stuff. Microwave, hob, kettle. You could do the toaster. There may be one, but I haven't. I haven't found one yet. So there is an outside area. It's all fenced off, but it's cold, so I'm not going out. Where they have a barbecue, so you can do your shashlik. There's my very expensive tripod I made earlier. So that's the downstairs tour, which will go up momentarily. Upstairs. Hello again. Ample cupboard space, as you can see. The bed here. It's quite comfortable. There is heating in this place. Little, little desk comes with Wi-Fi. Another small, uh, another double bed, I should say. Telling, complete with cartoons. 
all for 20 quid. Bargain, really. Well, this brings me to the end of my first ever Ukrainian vlog. Please subscribe, because at the moment I have a zero subscribers. I've deliberately kept this one short, just for some people who just want to see, can you go to Ukraine still, and uh, is everything open? Well, it is. It's almost normal, to be honest. All public transport's working. Uh, Long's got a mask. Well, I forgot to say that earlier. Uh, compared, to, they're in full, they're full lockdown apparently here, with this red zone, but it's nothing like what a full lockdown was like in England, or I imagine the rest of the world. Here, most things are normal to me. Kids aren't going to school, they're doing it online and a few other bits. But I'd say a good 90% of shops are open. Most restaurants are open, most pubs are open. Some restaurants, like yesterday I went for pizza, this pizza place just around the corner from here. Uh, the restaurant's not open as such. You, you go in order for takeaway only. I had two nice pizzas, not all to myself, I may add. Um, and some salad and stuff, and it was still less than £10. So, it's, you know, please come to Ukraine. It really is open for business, even, you know. And we've all stayed at home for two bloody years, haven't we, being bored. So, please subscribe and... Uh, Hopefully my second vlog will be in a day or two outside exploring this cold wilderness. See you later.